Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of PGR4. Um, we are doing the Baltic Masters Championship. It's a Masters level championship, the highest tier of the four different tiers of championships in the Koenigsegg CCX. An amazing car, cool sounds, uh, handles beautifully. It's really kudos to the developers how distinct each car is and how powerful they feel and uh, just flat out how much fun they are. Um, the only thing is we are now going to do a drifting challenge and I already tried it twice in between episodes but both times I accidentally crossed the finish line not in first so I had to uh, discard the footage, restart the emulator before it auto saves and now I can try again because otherwise after you finish you cannot retry again in this career mode which is really annoying um, but uh, what I wanted to say, yeah, the first time I forgot that it's also lab based, so I uh, still had time, but I <coughs> crossed the finish line when the laps were uh, all done, five out of five. And the second attempt I uh, did stop before I uh, completed all the laps, but then I forgot about the timer, and then the timer ran out, and I also finished the event. So I have to pay attention to that, but for the rest, it's also, I have to learn a bit how this works, because I can, uh, you have to slide around, drift, etc. Then you hear like, ticky 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 tick, the, the kudos uh, meter filling up. And once you get a certain amount of kudos, I think you get a star. I think it may be, um, uh, w with 500 kudos you get one star or something but what I noticed is in previous attempt I was really like sliding around got like 2000 kudos points and yeah maybe it did make sense and I only got four or five stars but that would actually make sense if each star is 500 kudos points but anyways I have to figure out the mechanics of this uh, of the counter because sometimes I also was sliding around and I didn't hear any star uh, sound. So maybe you can also, you build up kudos points and then at one point you have to cash them in. You have to make them definite and then you start your next streak of building it up by chaining cool actions together. Maybe you can only get a certain max amount of kudos stars per sequence, per uh, chain of actions that you uh, continue. So maybe at one point you have to stop doing the actions, uh, bank your current kudos, then the counter resets to zero, and then the stars uh, start uh, coming in again. It's, it's a little bit hard to explain, but uh, yeah, I have to just figure out how it works. That's the long story short version. Um, and I will be putting on the kudos huts just to see how it goes. Here we go.
is one of the problems. So, how does that work then? How can you get more kudos than the stars required? It, I thought this would be super easy, but it can actually be quite tricky. I have no idea. Yeah, I probably have to chain them together better. Then you get, I think, a bonus star. If you get to 500, maybe. Um, here we go. I'm going to do strings of 500, maybe a bit longer sometimes. Then I'm going to try and get some bonus stars. what 400 is. It's four points. Let's see what 500 is. If 1000 also gives 5 points, then I need to always stop at 500. So I'm wasting now 500 kudos compared to with 500 kudos you get 5 stars. With 1000 kudos you also get 5 stars. So you, you waste 500 kudos points. And you cannot do that because you can only get a max of 6000 kudos points in the whole attempt. So you need to make each kudos point convert as much as possible into stars. So each time I reach 500, I will bank my uh, stars and then start a new sequence. I think that's about it. That should work. Ooh. 
Fuck me! What the fuck am I doing? Fuck this fucking shit, man. Hitting the barrier, the getting broke down for no reason. Fuck it, it's super easy. I'm just screwing it fucking up. quite easy, you just need to know how it works. Super cone sprint. I really don't like these because it's very hard to make out the course without. This is just basically a square with a lot of cones. It's really can be annoying. Anyways, here we go. And often the time is also very strict. All right. At first, I'm just going to um, explore the track.
did it make it or I'm not sure whether the uh, event finishes when I uh, exceed the time or whether it only stops when you exceed the uh, when you complete all the laps. I'm not going to try it because if I accidentally it does finish when the time runs out and I'm not in first, then I have to stop the episode, restart the emulator because then you cannot retry anymore and I do want to get everything first. Um, so like I had in that previous attempt with the sliding, with the stage uh, before this one, I accidentally, there the event finished when the timer ran out and when, uh, or when you um, exceeded or completed all the laps. And I'm not sure how that works with these cones, although I am, yeah, maybe I'm just going to try it just to um, test it out because I'm pretty sure actually that it's not clock based, it's lap based here, it's not both. If it does uh, stop the or finish the event, then I, this will be a short episode Then I have to stop the amp, uh, emulator to restart it and the, uh, stop the uh, episode short. But I'm pretty sure it won't. Here we go. So we're now 135. Yeah, you see, we are all over the target time, and uh, it it just continues. So that's fine. The only thing that I should not do now is cross the finish line. It's so cool that you actually can also move your head around. It's just such a cool game. Where the hell is the finish line? There it is. I think it are those green uh, cones in the, in, on this little straight. Anyways, let's try it now for real. I do think the car really helps. It's quite easy to handle. Prince.
god, I hate this so much, man. I hate this so much. Fuck this shit. Oh, fuck this shit so fucking hard, man. is so hard. What the fuck, man? Fuck it so hard. I... It's so un not enjoyable, this shit.
think we have two of them in this championship. Very, very annoying. Alright, breakthrough normally is pretty fun. Checkpoints. <coughs> 16 checkpoints. first race in this championship it was also on that part of the street but there the same section is much longer and you actually see the brake markers I don't even see the brake marker the only brake marker I saw was the, the last one which is way too late it's just sorry I'm just getting a little bit annoyed
Super cone sprint. I hate it so fucking much. Alright, I will just uh, do it. Get it behind me. I hate it so much. Here, fuck me, man. You hardly s you don't even see the corners correctly. It's just so annoying. It's probably the same one, but in reverse. Oh, my God. 
so fucking annoying, man. It's so fucking annoying. It's not fun, and it's just frustrating. Especially also, if you think it will be... Super tight, and then... Turns out to be... Superstar again. Alright, so we just have to drift. I just want the street race, goddammit. Without really good reason, I'm just fucking annoyed. I don't know what it is. Oh, oh, oh. It's so fucking 
fucking frustrating when you want to initiate a drift and somehow it doesn't initiate. It's such a helpless feeling. Like, okay, please break traction, start to drift, and the car doesn't do any, doesn't do shit. It's super annoying. And of course, it's it's not that bad if you miss a drift, if there's no consequence. But the consequence is that I have to start all over again, and all over again, and all over again. And fuck me, I just hate these events. <laughs> Don't forget, always do keep on gaming, later.